<laughs> Ducky Town has strange traffic laws. <laughs> so while you're playing with it, tell us what was the biggest challenge of the project. So the biggest challenge was trying to get it to do all of this continuously. Um, it's pretty easy to do it one at a time, but to get it to go and do all of them without seeing other objects or running off the course, running away, I think was the hardest part. Okay. And then, how long did it take you to program and prepare for this for the project for the demo? Um, overall, I think it took probably 35 hours or so. Mm -hmm. um, probably 10 hours just trying to get it to line follow, which was a big challenge with the pixie. Um, and then maybe 10 to 12 hours each on the tasks, um, each on the challenges, and then maybe 10 more hours doing it continuously. Would you take an advanced class? Yes, definitely. I feel like I just learned how to use a lot of the equipment now, and if I had a chance to you know, do some more things now that I have the hang of it, that would be really cool. Why did you take this course? I like that it was project based. Um, I, you know, I enjoy programming and I enjoy Arduino, and it seemed like we had a lot of that and not a lot of just reading a book. It's actually implementing things. That was cool. Um, I really enjoyed the project experience. I mean, it was a lot of fun to put it together. I mean, start from just pieces and build it, and then slowly uh, teach it to do small tasks, and then eventually do something like Ducky Town. It was pretty cool. Um, it was loosely structured, which I think was really cool. I mean, it was way better than any lecture that I've had to sit through. So, <laughs> yeah, I think they were very useful. I think they're very real world. Um, and it's pretty much a model town, so this is what autonomous cars do, but on a small scale. So, definitely real world. Hey, open the door. Cool. Okay. So you don't have to do all You do. You lose points if you don't. How many points do you? Uh, Thomas, that was pretty nice.